This is a video tutorial on how to do end of quarter comments and change the end of quarter grade if you need for Power Teacher Pro. So from your Power School, you're going to launch Power Teacher Pro for any class that you'd like. You're going to look at the grading charm in the upper left hand corner and click on grading and choose comment verification. Here you can see any comments that you've assigned for the quarter. You can change your quarter by coming up here to the upper right hand corner and picking a different quarter. You can also see the dates for each of the quarters if you're not sure when the, when the quarters or exams are scheduled or when the semesters are scheduled. They are listed right next to all of these here. In order to enter a comment, you simply click in the comment box and the score inspector will open up and you can click on this comment button right here to open up the comment window. To use the comment bank, you simply choose comment bank above the white box and it will list the comments that are available to you. If you want to see all the comments, change the area where it says rows per page, type in 50 for right here and hit enter. You'll notice that I have favorited a couple of comments. If there are comments that you use on a frequent basis, Rather than having to scroll through the list, you can click the star next to some comments and then come up here and resort by clicking until they're sorted with all of the favorite ones at the top. To use comments, you simply just click the comment next to the comment you would like to give that student and click insert comment. It's recommended that you only give one comment because of the space available on the report card. But if you are in a need to do more than one, please make sure you change it from line breaks to spaces when you insert the comment. That way they're lined up next to each other rather than underneath each other to save space so that they don't go on to a second page. When you have the comment that you would like, you simply click insert comments. And it'll tell you that the comment was added and you can close out of the box and you can see that the comment is here. If you want to fill that same comment down for all of your students, you could click the fill up and down button right here and choose comments only. And you'll see that it has filled this comment for each one of my students in this class all the way down. Please remember to click save before you leave this screen. That way you can make sure that you have saved all of your comments. But if you try to navigate away, it will prompt you to tell you that you do have to save. To override a quarter grade, what you can do is come back to the score inspector by clicking on what looks like a little cube and clicking on the Q1 grade. And it will allow you to override the letter grade and the percentage grade for the students. Please make sure that you match both accordingly if you're going to override grades. So in this case, if I had a, a grade right here that I wanted to change from a 78C to an 80B, I would do that and save those changes. If I want to reset my grade, I can reset my grade. You'll notice that when you change the grade that there is a little corner flag to let you know that that grade has been overridden from the original grade. If you wanted to reset that grade back, you can come up here to the circle icon and it will reset the grade back to its original grade, original percentage. One thing you'll want to double check is to make sure that when you get to quarter two that the grade that you overrode is being calculated properly for the semester and year-long grade totals. If you have any questions about how to complete comments or about how to override a grade, please see your ITRT and they will be able to help you. Thank you very much.